Hi, my name is Bill Kornrumpf. I'm with the Edison Tech Center in Schenectady, New York. And today we're going to talk a little bit about electrical induction. And, and in particular, we're going to talk about an induction surface unit that has some advantages over conventional ranges. It's built on the concept of induction, where if you pass current through a coil of a transformer, you'll be able to get power out from a secondary. This is normally used to move, uh, change one voltage to another voltage or to get isolation. There are four elements here that have coils uh, underneath the surface of the glass that become the primary or the bottom coil that I showed in the transformer. The pan that you're going to heat, this surface of the pan becomes the secondary or this second coil. So we're going to do a demonstration about actually heating up water and showing you how responsive this is. This is uh, 500 milliliters or about a pint of water that we're putting in this cold pan. And I'm going to turn on the, the range. And in approximately a minute, minute and a half to two minutes at the most, we'll have a rolling boil. You first see the air bubbles from dissolved air coming out of the water. That isn't actually boiling, but where the water gets very hot, the uh, air is driven out of it. It's being heated by the magnetic field that's coming up through the glass into the bottom of the pan. Now you're seeing the water right on the bottom of the pan is boiling, but the water on the top is still cold. So you're transferring heat from that bottom water up to the top. And you'll see very shortly now the whole, the whole pan full of water will be hot and will go into a rolling boil. One of the advantages of, of induction is that nothing is getting hot except the bottom of the pan. And the demonstration of that is we have a rolling boil going on here and I can put a newspaper in here and it's boiling we're getting the heat to the bottom of the pan through the air and through the magnetic field but we're not actually getting the paper hot when you do have a boil over it's much easier to clean up because things aren't aren't baked onto the surface we'd like to show you using an uh, infrared thermometer how quickly a pan can heat up. I'll turn it on and you can see it immediately starts to warm up. There was a little bit of water left in it. You can see it boil off. Temperature is already up uh, getting very close to 200 degrees. We'd like to show you the electronics and, and what actually makes the induction surface unit work. This is the primary coil. This coil is energized from the electronics that are in here. If you look far in here, you'll see a heat sink and that's the, where the high frequency energy is supplied to the coil from. The rest of this is all control circuitry. And for different size pans, you can see you'd have a big coil for a big pan and you don't need all that much power for a smaller pan. Another feature you can see here is it's, as I said earlier, it's possible if you have an empty pan sitting on the range, it will get very hot. That would then heat up the glass and cause the glass to break. So they actually have built into these units a little spring-loaded uh, thermistor that measures the temperature of the glass. When the glass gets too hot, it'll turn this unit off. 